actually give a quote by Sinclair Ferguson saying that mercy is getting down on your hands and knees and doing something to restore dignity to someone who life has been whose life has been broken by sin. Why is that important to keep in front of us as we study the Beatitude? Yeah. The extension of mercy is the natural response of someone who's received mercy. I mean, it, it is, that is who we are, recipients of mercy. It's interesting when um, the Lord declares who he is in the Old Testament, Exodus 34. He says, the Lord, the Lord, compassionate, gracious, slow to anger, abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. It, it's interesting to me, of all the things God might have said of himself, I am sovereign, I am holy. He chose to emphasize his steadfast love, his mercy. Um, and so for the person who has been redeemed and is walking with Christ, that quality will be the leading edge of their life. In the book, I, I tell a, a moving story. Some people say it's it's the most moving part of the whole book of um, a friend who was a leader on the mission field that came home. He called, said, hey, my wife and I need to visit you. Can we come over now? I said, sure. So when he arrived, he had this distressed look on his face and said, can we go for a walk? I said, absolutely. So we we set out. His wife visited with my wife, Angela, and he went on to tell me about his infidelity and that uh, he he's under conviction and he needs to tell his wife, And he, but he didn't think he could do it himself. So he came to my house in order to confess his sin in our presence, because my wife and I had mentored them years before. So we walked back to my house, and my, my buddy and his wife sat on the couch across from us. And it was like watching a train wreck in slow motion with loved ones on the train. So there is his wife, I call her Margaret in the book, listening attentively as he explained what he had done over the course of time. And it was ugly. And it was 10 minutes of him giving a full-throated confession of his immorality. And she listened and eyes, be tears began to stream down her face. And when he was done, it was like I could hear the devil cackling in the background. I've won. I, I have managed to undermine the ministry of this gifted leader. And um, I've destroyed his family. And it, it was the the darkest situation I had ever seen until Margaret raised her chin and she declared, I belong to Christ. I am therefore committed to our family and I am committed to you, David. And in that moment, it was like light shone down from heaven, pierced that darkness. And the new creation of God was made manifest. The reality of the gospel was displayed before our very eyes. Now, to be sure, they had a long road of restoration to work through. But that was the decisive moment in which the, the, the victory started. And uh, I think that's what mercy looks like in action.